Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Dolphin emulator so you can play Wii games on your PC. I'll also show you how to use a Wii remote in Dolphin and how to use a Wii sensors bar. Dolphin emulator is the best Wii emulator for PC and can run Wii games almost perfectly depending on the power of your PC. But Dolphin is still being worked on, so improvements keep on coming. Setting up the Dolphin emulator is quite easy, but if you need any help, feel free to ask on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. Shouting out our channel supporters, we have Alexandi1, Boxfish, Christian, the Gamer SK, Richard Smith, Esther Cavill, North At, Alex Tease, Robocop, Adam Kennedy, and Aero. So, a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, head over to the Dolphin website, which is linked below. Download the latest version and then save it to your desktop. You should now have this file on your desktop. To extract it, you'll need WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, you can download it from the link below. Once you have extracted the Dolphin folder, open it and then run Dolphin. When you open Dolphin for the first time, you'll get this message. To allow Dolphin to send data back to the developers, click yes. If not, click no. Once you're in Dolphin, click config, then click the paths tab. Click add, then navigate to where you keep your Wii games. For this video, I've moved mine to my desktop. If you haven't dumped your Wii games yet over to your PC, click the I in the top right corner to watch my video on that. It's also quite easy to do. Once you've added the folder which has your Wii games in it, they'll now show up in the Dolphin emulator. Right now, there's no banner icon for my games. To get your banner icons, you'll have to run each game at least once and then restart Dolphin but I'll show you a few banners later. But now click graphics and then the enhancements tab. I recommend enabling per pixel lighting and force texture filtering and I personally choose to disable fog but we'll look at what these do later. We'll be changing these settings up here soon so don't change them right now. But now let's connect our Wii remote to our PC. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can also use your mouse and keyboard or a controller. If you aren't using a Wii Remote, change Player 1 to Emulated Wii Remote. To set up your controller or keyboard, click Configure. The controller settings menu is quite detailed, but still easy to use. You can also emulate attachments, like a nunchuck or a classic controller. but I'll be using a real Wii Remote. So I'll set player 1 to real Wii Remote. If you're going to have more players, don't forget to add their controller too. And of course, your PC must have Bluetooth to do this. To check if your PC has Bluetooth, hit the Windows key and then search Bluetooth. Choose this option and make sure Bluetooth is on. If your PC doesn't have Bluetooth built in like mine, you'll have to buy a Bluetooth dongle. You can buy this one on the Amazon link down below. Just plug it into your PC and you're good to go. To pair your controller, press the red sync button on the back of your Wii Remote. It may be in the battery compartment depending on your controller. Then about 4 seconds after you do that, click refresh in Dolphin. Once connected, the controller will rumble and then show the player one light. Now let's launch a game. 
and configure the enhancement settings. To use your Wii sensor bar with Dolphin, just put it on top or below your monitor and you're good to go. If you have a wired sensor bar, you'll have to connect it to your Wii and turn your Wii on to power the sensor bar. I recommend buying a wireless sensor bar. Mine runs on 4 AAA batteries and you can buy it from the Amazon link down below. If you're going to put your sensor bar below your monitor or TV, you'll have to tell Dolphin in configuration in the Wii tab, change sensor bar position to bottom. And as you can see, the Wii remote and sensor bar is working great. To set up enhancements, open a game like Mario Kart Wii, which has a wide open and detailed 3D environment. What we're going to do now is snap Dolphin to the side of the screen and open the enhancements window. Right click on the taskbar and then click task manager. Click the performance tab and then find GPU. Right click here and change the graph to single engine. If you don't have this GPU window, you'll have to update to the latest version of Windows 10. If you can't update, don't worry. This step just makes enhancement setup easier. Arrange your window so you see Dolphin, Enhancements and Task Manager on your screen at the same time. Let's look at the GPU usage window. Right now, Mario Kart Wii is using this much GPU power. We want to make this graph go as high as possible without touching the top or else it will start to lag. You can see when I play the game, GPU usage does change, but if there's no room for it to go up anymore, the game will lag, so it's good to have some extra room. Let's start by changing this option. You can see the higher it goes, it has a better effect on the game, but doesn't affect the GPU too much. So let's crank up an isotropic filtering to 16. Now let's try some upscaling. Here's 720p, now 1080p. Here's 1440p. Now here's 5 times the resolution of a Wii. My GPU is doing good so far. Now let's crank up the anti-aliasing. Increasing anti-aliasing makes the game look better, but also takes a lot of GPU power. And my GPU usage has jumped quite a bit. Let's test out 4, and then 8. On the 8x setting, my GPU usage goes too high. So let's put the anti-aliasing back to 4, and set the resolution to 4K. These settings work well for me. My GPU isn't too high, and has plenty of room for any jumps in usage if it needs to. So now we're running at 4K with 4 times multi sample anti aliasing. And by the way, if you only have a 1080p monitor, there's no point in going higher than 1440p because that's when the viewable quality increase stops. So now that we've set up the emulator, we can play games at a higher quality. When it comes to fog, it really only affects objects in the distance. You can see here, when I turn fog on it becomes blurry, but when I turn it off, the object in the distance is very clear. I'll zoom in here, because it's difficult to see when this video is only in 1080p. Turning these two options on and off doesn't make much difference, but I'll leave them on anyway. 
and that's pretty much it. To save your progress, just save in game, then press the X on the window and the progress is saved. So now let's close Dolphin and then open it again. And the games I've played so far now have banners. Mario Kart Wii and Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sardwell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.